starting out of the red corner. He is an independent fighter with a record of two victories, 12 defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wesley O'Neill. And his opponent standing across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner, making his in-ring debut. Good evening, fight fans, and welcome to Strike Series 2 here at Premier Brankerton in Leeds. Our next fight is an 85 kilogram boxing bout. We've got Wes O'Neill in, uh, in the red corner taking on Danny Turton in the blue corner. Come to tonight, you've got myself Danny missing. Hello, Danny. Hello, sorry, I'm miles away. I'm just watching the action. Uh, you got the the head honcho, the lead man from Team Agogi, Danny Turton. Um, I know there's been a little bit of drama surrounding this fight. Um, Danny's original opponent pulled out. Well, he's stepped up. Like the gent he is, he's stepped in there and uh, you know, looking to trade hands and give it, give Danny a bit of a dance around. See, Wes O'Neill, you know, like, um, obviously he's got quite a large record, but he by no means is a pushover. He oh, comes no. into the bank. We've seen him cause many an upset. Oh, yeah, definitely. And that's the thing, when you take one of these guys who's been in the ring that many times lightly, yeah. you know, that's when he's going to upset you. So three two-minute rounds. This fight is sponsored by Brain and Braun Fitness. We've got Danny Turton. Both guys in black shorts, but Danny Turton's got the blue gloves. Wes O'Neill, black gloves. Yeah, we can say Danny's just a bit more tanned. That's it. And Danny's nice unleashing to the body now. That's it. He scored the right hand and then followed it up with some beautiful body hooks. And you can hear the crowd in here. Everybody's behind Danny right now. They've all come to see the main man tonight. Ooh. Wes O'Neill with the right hand there, just glancing off the shoulder. Like I say, he only causes one of, those, one of them shots and you've got an yeah. upset. He's been in the ring. He's a technician. He's been in the ring that many times. He knows what it's like to be I in there. I think he's actually damaged. He's, uh, he's blocked it when he... When he blocked the shot, he blocked the shot. Yeah. He's actually hit the elbow. Looks like he's damaged his hands. It'd be such a shame now to end it like this. Yes. Um, I've not really seen anything like that before. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just clip the elbow the wrong way or something like that when oh, you yeah, go into the body. And you can rip that thumb back. That's painful when that happens. There we go. End of round number one. I'm sure that Wes O'Neill's corner will be checking him out now, making sure that he's okay to continue. Yeah. It looks as like if he's holding it to his body. He's, he's, he's shaking his head, but uh, I think he's got a man saying he's all right. He's been here before. He knows what he's doing. Well, I see. You never know when you're in there. There's so much adrenaline and things. Yeah, you're like, afterwards, you might see your hand hurts. You might break a finger, but in the fight, you won't actually know. That's it. You know, when, uh, you know, you're going to think all that adrenaline coursing through his veins right now. He's not going to feel the full effect until tomorrow. No. You know, he's so been in there. You, you learn to adapt and overcome when you've got a record like Wes's. Yeah, so this is uh, sponsored by Brain and Brawn Fitness. This is three two-minute rounds. Round number two. Now let's just see if he throws that right hand out there. You know, he's boxing behind the jab right now, holding that right hand back. Yeah, he's double jab, left hook to the body. He's just looking like he's a little bit tentative to throw that right hand. And oh, Danny hits him with a beautiful uppercut up the middle. I think he's just shut that it hit down early. I don't think it matters if his hand's damaged. That's it. That was a nice hook. He didn't bring the guard in tight enough. Danny turns, so it. Uppercut on the inside and he's dropped him. And Danny's straight back on him. Yeah, he needs to. Like a dog with a bone, you know. Let's get him out of there now. He, he don't want to throw that right hand. Beautiful right hand. Oh. Right hand followed by the uppercut on the way down. That was like hitting pads for Danny, that, you know, he couldn't have connected any that cleaner. Were, that were beautifully timed. The fact not only did he land the right hand, but he got the uppercut as he was dropping as well, just the uh, exclamation mark. Where's his back up to his feet, though, like the true warrior he is. He's a veteran, he's throwing that right hand. Caution to the that's wind it. now for Wes. That's two drops. Oh, right hand just landing. Danny Turton has uh, smelled blood. He's after the kill yeah, now. That's it now. And he's got a Beautiful calm right hand. aggression about him. And he's... Unleash him with that right hand, but Wes is throwing back. Oh, he dropped him. Falling and it's the all upper. over. Simon Stanicki, he waves it off. And Danny just calmly getting it done. That's picking it. him apart in the corner. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, at a time of 1 minute 14 seconds of the second round, our referee stops the contest. Your winner, by TKO. Thank you, appreciate